Okay, part two. Um, it was so. Let's see again. So, we started off with. And the last thing in what I turned the first section was. So that's D, E, F sharp. Two. Right, into the next section. enough for one burst. So, I'm using that as the leading, right? You see the bends and E up to F sharp. And then we sort of vamp on that leg. And then we play two absolutely beautiful lines. Right, going up the D uh, major scale. There's the F sharp. But then we come off the A. Right, so. That's the first half. And this trill. So you see the first one ends on a F sharp, second one ends on a G. And then D and E. Now as I've said in all these videos, <coughs> if you want a guy for a wailing vibrato a la Errol Slick, Paul Kosov, Gary Rosenton, Mick Ralph is your man, right? So after Please. Right. So we've got it. So it's up to be. Right. So that's again we're just vamping on that, you know, B minor shape at the seventh set. And we're gonna play play the same lick but in two places. So that's E, F sharp, A and B. So it's the same line, the same four notes. But the second time it's A, B, D. Recognize that bit? And then, right, so we get, so I play here, and when Mick hits that bit, that D, E, D, that's effectively the end of the solo because you can see it's it's come from that's a shake. That's the end of the solo. It comes on the end of that bit. The same line twice. It comes in. Space. At that point, it's it, it's fading out. 
So that's the whole solo. Uh, Mick Ralph's um, beautifully, thematically thought out solo. Now he may have played that just straight off the bat, you know, they may have been playing the song, maybe Mick went... And the rest came naturally. Um, whatever, whether it was written beforehand, <clears throat> or he just played it because I would imagine that's possible because he has that good. Um, it's it's one of the best solos on an album that's full of good solos. So there you go. See you, Jane Motley.